most Americans are repelled by the mere notion of homosexuality. The CBS News survey shows that two out of three Americans look upon homosexuals with disgust, discomfort, or fear. But I do not believe that we should condone it, whether legally or otherwise, as an acceptable altered lifestyle. It is not that. It's moral perversion. According to the Word of God, it's an abomination. All kinds of problems. And, uh, uh every... <laughs> Showing everybody that this is our city, or this is our lives, or whatever. I said I'm a lesbian, a cheap patient, right there. <laughs> trying to get the word out about their band's show tomorrow. They're trying to get more women to come. If I have to see one more Bob Dylan poser at my show, I'm gonna be sick. Can't imagine you'll have trouble finding lesbians in your gene. Yeah, this place is gayer than hell. <laughs> okay, okay, in a good way? Of course, it's just like seeing all of these happy couples when I don't have a girlfriend. Maybe if she didn't dress so straight, you could find one. Hey, at least she doesn't dress like she's trying to be a man. Some feminist you are. <laughs> I am a lesbian. After all, it does not matter how I dress. Nice. You want a medal? <laughs> hey, what's up? Sorry, I couldn't help but over here. Don't mind me asking, are you all homosexuals? Yeah, we're practicing homosexuals. Very active in the lesbian denomination. You're new around here, aren't you? Yes, I am. What brings you to Eugene? A boyfriend? Yeah. No, um, actually, I'm writing a piece for the paper about lesbians in Eugene. They're calling it the Lesbian Mecca. Far out. I uh, heard about this bookstore, actually. I just had no idea how active the community was here. Yeah, we're tight. <laughs> oh, wow. So are you all dating each other? <laughs> we're all just really good friends. We met in this bookshop, actually. Right. Do you mind if I ask a few questions for the paper? Sure. Come sit. Where's your pen and paper, Gloria Steinem? No need. I have a really good memory. When did I know I was gay? 
Honestly, I think I owe a lot to my queer friends because without them, I don't think I would have had the courage to come out on my own. My parents weren't too happy about it when I came out, but you know, as soon as I got out of there, moved to Eugene, everything just fit into place. I had my first serious relationship with a girl for a week, which was pretty serious by my standards. I joined a band, grew out of those old dresses and started dressing more tomboyish. The whole dressing butch or dressing femme thing is a pre-feminist anachronism that constitutes an archaic alliance with the patriarchy. What's butch? You from Mars? This is just the way some people dress, I guess. I'm 21 now when I came out when I was seven. I've never regretted being gay and I've never hidden it. I'm proud of it. I went to a women's liberation meeting on campus the other day to raise awareness about lesbian issues and they kicked me out. <laughs> they think that being a lesbian is synonymous with hating men, which isn't great for their agenda. That's why I'm always seeking out new lesbians in Eugene. There were not any gay people. At least that I knew. I hadn't even seen two women kiss before I came to Eugene. They never show it in the movies. Anyway, I found work out here in the forestry service and if word got out back home that I'm a lesbian, job opportunities would be scarce. But here in Eugene, it's just endless job opportunities and co-ops built by and for lesbians. It's really the first time I've ever felt free. Bye. You coming to my show tomorrow? <laughs> so, you live near here? I actually haven't found a place yet. I've been looking for a place to crash in the meantime. Well, Julie has a spare room. Her roommate dropped out because she couldn't stand the smell of incense of Julie oil any longer. <laughs> I couldn't ask that of her. Well, good, because she charges three hundred dollars a night. Sucker. <laughs> right, right. I won't be so easy next time. So, uh, you mentioned you work in forestry? Yeah, I do. My dad works for the Park Service. He used to take me out to the woods to search for wild blackberries in the summer. You too close? Well, are you busy tomorrow? I'd love to show you around town. I'd like that. So, Hi. what brings you to Eugene, besides for your argument? Needed a fresh start. Trouble pass. I try to stay in line. Hey now, I'm the one asking the questions here. Do so you live out here alone? No, I live in a commune with a bunch of other women tree planters. A bunch of pithy dykes. Why? You're not a killer, are you? What? No, no I... Give me a break. You smoke? I 
got it. <laughs> hey, you clean up nice. Thanks. How are you? You must be the journalist. Yes, I am. You must have heard of my article. Oh, we've heard of it. She's straight. Straight? Strictly business, then. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll leave you to it. It's just not natural. <laughs> so, you're telling your friends everything about me. You're not a stalker, are you? No, no, I just, I just told them how you came into the bookstore yesterday, that's, that's all. You're a sucker. I got it, yeah. But, do you have any more questions for me? Sure. Uh, when did you know, or how did you know that you liked girls? There was never really a specific moment. I thought I liked men for a while. But I could just never picture a future with a man like I could with women, you know, so it just kind of made sense. Your hair is so soft. Thanks. Nobody's done my hair like this since the prom. I bet that you were the prom queen. <laughs> You're a bunch of hooey. <laughs> No, I went with this guy from the year above me. He was so sweet and he really liked me. I could just never get myself to like him back. Poor guy. I've been there, honey. Thanks for letting me stay. I owe you one. Have you ever gotten a reading from the spirits? Like. Tarot? Oh, this is perfect. Oh, no. Why? You scared of what they're going to say? Well, yeah. What if they tell me I'm going to die tomorrow? They're not that specific. Plus, I specialize in love readings. I'm not a homosexual, if that's what you're thinking. And that's okay. You're going to want to trust your heart. Listen to your intuition. Two of swords. That is a tough one. Represents conflicting ideas. Means that you have a big decision to make. What are you really doing here in Eugene? I won't tell. open. You guys ready?
Oh, come on. Don't tell me you're a tyke. I can fix that. You can't. What'd that guy say to you? Nothing. He's just being really fucking uptight. Screw him. What happened? I can't do it. I can't marry a man. I... I doubt he's looking for marriage. I tried everything. Counseling, the therapy. None of it works. I'm still a homosexual. Therapy? It doesn't matter. I got out of there. The Greyhound was nearby, packed up everything and ran here. I knew you weren't a journalist. What? How? Well, journalists usually make decent money, don't they? Not usually the type to steal people's bikes. Hey, there you guys are. Hey, I'm kind of tired. Can we get out of here? Yeah, let's boogie. <laughs> you know, I finally accepted that I was gay when my mom found pictures of Faye that away underneath my pillow. <laughs> How'd you cover that one up? I said I liked her hair. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> she does have nice tits. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have anything to worry about anymore, really. Yeah, you're not gonna figure it out overnight. Hey, you've got us now. Yeah. You've got your pack. Susan's her aunt. Okay, guys, guys. It's time to do a temporary reading. Whatever card that you guys meet on, that's your future.